Most of us don't keep in touch with our network often enough. Do you realize that your friends and family probably don't even know what you really do for a living or what kind of business you're trying to build? Seriously, go and ask any of your friends, hey, uh, how would you describe what I do? And they probably can't do it very well. So your friends, your own friends and family don't even know what you do for a living okay, and who your ideal clients are. And so they don't think about your business often enough to be able to refer new clients to you. It's true. So most of us do not do a good job of keeping in touch with our own friends and family and our colleagues, our past clients, the people who have inquired with us in the past about our services, the people who might be interested in what we do, who are you know acquaintances of ours. We need to do a better job of reconnecting with our network and that tends to lead to more clients. But the thing is, when we reconnect with our network and we use it as a sales tactic, like, yes, of course, doing this can lead to more clients. But when I'm reconnecting with you and I'm like, hmm, how are you doing, Mary? How are you doing, Sue? Oh, by the way, I have openings in my client. It feels, it feels off. It's not the best way to reconnect. The other person knows that, oh, okay, you're just reaching back out because you want to tell me you've got openings for your clients. And, and that's okay. You know, it, it, people get that. People get that, you know, we need clients, et cetera. But wouldn't it be better if, we, if I reached out to Mary or to Sue because I genuinely care? What a concept. I reach out to Mary or Sue because I genuinely care like them. So this is a concept. Instead of networking, I call it net caring. Net caring. Now, I thought I came up with it, but I I didn't because I googled it and I guess people had been using it for for many years. But I like the I like the term net caring instead of networking. So what this means again is you look at your contact list and look at your Friends that you have not been in touch with, look at your past clients, look at your colleagues, people who have taken classes with you, look at the people who are in a similar industry or in your industry but don't have the exact same business so they don't feel competitive. Look at all these people on your contact list and then as you go down the list, look at who you feel instantly kind of connected to or, oh, I like that person. Reach out to them. And say, hey, John, you know, hey, um, you know, Tina, hey, so, whatever. Let, you know, I, I just wonder how you were doing. And before you reach out, actually, it would be better for you to take a quick look at their social media. Take a quick look. What have, what have they been posting lately? And see if there's anything you want to mention. Say, oh, yeah, I really appreciate that you wrote about that. How are you doing, um, you know, in these times? And, um, you know, here's what I've been up to. But I just, I just, you know, really, I've always appreciated this and that about you. You reach out. So the first thing we really need to do is to actually do whatever, I guess, spiritual practice to get into a place of caring, a place of genuine love. Because when you reach out from a place of genuine love to somebody else um, out of a sense of caring, out of simply you like them, appreciate something about them that you genuinely appreciate, you're just reaching out. And of course, those kinds of connections can lead to conversation, which leads to client opportunities. It's a very natural thing. But it's not because, oh, hey, I'm reaching out to you uh, because I need clients. And even though it's okay to do that, it's not the most ideal way and it's not the most enjoyable way because you probably feel awkward doing that, pitching somebody that you haven't talked to in a long time, and they probably feel awkward as well. So remember that very few of us do a good job of reaching out to our network. And so if you do that, you're going to be one of the only people who stand out in that person's mind because very few people reach out to them. Okay. Reach out in a genuine sense of appreciation for who they are. What do, you, what do you like about them? Remember that. Reach out in that way with that kind of heart. And then see where the conversation leads and see how you can be of, of service to them, benefit them. And very naturally, if they need something you offer or if they know, if, they, if they'll probably ask you how you're doing too. And then you could talk about you know, how you're doing and how you're, you know, your business or whatever. But it naturally leads to opportunities. 
So I hope this is helpful. Remember, net caring rather than networking. And the world would be a better place if we all did this. And we would all feel more connected. We would all be able to have more opportunities for each other because we have opportunities for each other. It's just that we don't reach out to each other, right? So I hope this helps. Remember your past clients, the people who have inquired about your services in the past, your colleagues, your friends that you haven't been in touch with for a while. Think about them, appreciate them, reach out today. All right, I wish you well. Take care.